Hey, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be able to create a part, an assembly, where we can actually fold our arms over. Okay, when we look at this from the top, you can actually see that I've even created this so that they like lay with one another pretty nicely so that we can see what our sunglasses would look like closed and we can see what our sunglasses would look like open with all of the limits that are necessary to make this thing work for us. So stay tuned and you're going to see a lot more information about that. So at this point, all of the parts are done. I have the arm. I have the pin and I have the frame. Okay, so I have my, they're all ready to go. So let's talk about the assembly. And again, today we're gonna to be talking about moving assembly parts, right? So completely different than what we've done so far. So when we come in here, we're gonna insert, right? This is not any different. We're gonna insert uh, that part studio. And again, I'm missing an extra pin. So let me get a pin in here and I'm gonna click the checkbox. So the frame is gonna be the thing that we are going to fix in place. So right click and fix that. And then like, again, we can start to move these other pieces away from there and, and just get us to the point where we are ready to um, assemble. So when I go through, I'm gonna hit M for mates. So again, to this point, we've only really been learning about fastened mates, but there are other types of mates, okay? Like slider mates, if we want two things to move, um, to slide on top of one another, cylindrical mates, if we want them to be able to spin within one another, and revolving mates, which is actually what we're going to be using today. So a uh, revolute mate is going to allow something to revolve, all right? So when, you know, just like before, we gotta find that blue point and we're going to select the center of the hinge and then we need to find the area that that is going to mate to which is going to be the bottom of in my case the top here okay and I want to make sure that that blue uh, position is going in the same direction okay so again we're in the revolute option here and we are going to set some limits for the revolute to have okay it says what's the minimum and what's the maximum okay so the minimum for our earpiece is going to be zero degrees the maximum for our earpiece is going to be 90 degrees and when we hit the play button here we can see this thing start to move around right and like right now it kind of gets confused the first time through so the second time through you can see the thing operate and it's actually doing the right thing this time okay so it's actually closing and opening now let's say that this was going in the wrong direction because sometimes they do. You can click this reorientate second axis button, okay? And that will change like what the starting and the ending position is. So you can see that that's wrong. All of these wrongs have started off right, but you can see that that's wrong. So I push this button again. And then there we are back to like the point where things are working properly. So I'm gonna click the checkbox there. And then I'm gonna go through the same process for the opposite one. As far as the pins are concerned, they can just be a fixed mate, okay? They don't actually need to rotate anywhere, so we can select that surface, we can select that surface, we can drop that pin in. We can do the same thing over here. Okay, so now we have the ability to fold our ear pieces up. And you can actually see here that I'm like running into this here so that's because of my curve so maybe instead of setting these like revolutes at 90 degrees maybe I should set their maximum more at like 85 degrees and again that's going to be more personal to your project um, than, than my project in exact totality right so when I look at this now that's as far in as that one goes again maybe a little bit further at that point but but who knows you know like you got to kind of mess around with it on your own um, and just find that like sweet spot where like maybe in this one here my second revolute 
edit. Instead of that being 90 and the other one's like 85, maybe I make this like 87.5, somewhere in between. And then when I like fold these in, you know, they're, they're basically like sitting on top of one another, like real sunglasses might, you know? And again, honestly, that second one could still come in quite a bit further. So let's say like 89 degrees and let's just see how that looks. Yeah, it's not so, so bad. Maybe like 88 and a half degrees or something like that. You know, and I can tweak these, so I'll do that real quick. All right, so I'm still messing around with like trying to get these things to lay a little right. Um, and I realized that you can actually tweak these things and actually move this physically by your, by your hand, right? And we can see that angle there. So like 86 is actually probably pretty good for me, but maybe I could even try like 86.25 like degrees or something like that. And then when I change that, then it allows me to like actually close that a little bit further. So actually, I think that that looks really great. So like when I have my sunglasses closed up now, they actually fold the way that they, you know, would in real life, where like one goes a little further than the other. Okay, and then when I unfold them, I can open that one up. I can open that one up. They stop at that 90 degrees and um, our assembly is done. Okay, so now it's gonna be time to move on to coloring everything. So, you know, what what is your frame color going to be? Is your frame color going to be different than your arm color? It would be great if your pin was a different color than everything else. Okay, you can make your frame and your arms the same color, but change your pin to something different than that. And then um, you'll be ready to start creating your drawings.